the upcoming 2.7 update has been delayed and Ayaka's rerun banner will remain until the new update arrives, which is the first time in Genshin's history that players can wish for a character for longer than the usual 3 weeks. So in this video, I want to address my concerns as well as some of my thoughts about the current state of Genshin, as well as talk about something that's really important regarding Ayaka's banner. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Dislike. Now, I talked about this gacha game before on my channel because I love the whole music-powered, pop-fantasy-looking vibe, and now the game is finally coming out. Dislike is a stylish, urban mythological RPG. The visuals and story are really unique. You won't see it in any other game, and what I personally love are the characters, who come from four different mythologies and each have their own striking appearance. I mean, just look at the summon animations and tell me these aren't the most badass gods ever. But these heroes aren't here to just look pretty. You can build a team of five and combine different attributes and strategies to outplay enemies, or if you want to, you can also challenge other players in the arena. The game also features audio-visual experience which combines both graphics and music as a gameplay element, like fighting a giant boss that has musical beats integrated in its mechanics, and since the game is in vertical mode, you can play Dislike when you just want to relax, listen to some beats, and farm loot when you're busy doing something else. And right now, you can get awesome limited rewards by using my code in the description, so you'll be able to get a head start in Dislike and at the same time, help support my channel big time. So make sure to use my link and download the game now. You know, I've been thinking about this 2.7 delay for a while now, and I've come to a conclusion that I can see both good and bad things about it. Like for example, of all the banners that would end up getting extended, this is probably the best limited banner you could ask for. But this also means that there will be some, I would say, side effects that I'll talk about more in a few moments. You see, Ayaka is strong, she's really popular, and most important of all, she's a moneymaker for Hoyoverse. You would think that the developers could instead mix things up and add one of the standard 5-star dedicated banners, while the 2.7 is getting delayed, like the one and only banner we've had for Kaching. But no, the current situation is that Ayaka could potentially remain for up to 3 to 5 additional weeks. That's a lot of time for both new and veteran players to get this Kamisato, especially with those free 400 Primo Gems rolling in each week until 2.7 arrives. However, the point of this video is that the longer the 2.7 delay lasts, the more cascading effects it will have not just on the game, but for the community as well. Now I know, I know, the word cascading is such a fancy way of saying that there will be some sort of an outcome that's affected by the delay, but the truth is, nobody besides Hoyoverse will be able to understand just what kind of an impact this delay will have. And I'm not here to cause some pointless clickbait that the game is dying or that Genshin needs to have a better endgame in order to avoid these unlikely scenarios, since it's really easy to tell that Hoyoverse has cracked the formula by introducing constant updates and events, while the endgame is more of an afterthought for veterans to chase the perfect artifact. No, what I really want to talk about is Ayaka. I believe that a lot of people will obtain her. In fact, think about all those new newcomers that keep arriving into Genshin, since, you know, the devs are spending mad money on marketing all the time. So most of the newbies are probably gonna give in to the dopamine rush and try to summon for Ayaka while the banner is still there. Now if that's the case, then it's fair to assume there will be a lot of Ayaka circulating in the player base. And I can think of two major effects this might have for the game's future. The first one is that it's possible her next rerun will not be coming back for a long time. Like, it could literally be as long as Maple Samurai's one year long vacation. But she could also return a few months later. Although I am placing my bets on her rerun not coming back soon enough. Now, as for the second effect, well, it's actually kind of interesting. If you watch Genshin's content on YouTube, especially if they're about theory crafting or guides, it's easy to notice a pattern of constant character comparison to few godlike units we have in the game. Well, it just so happens that Ayaka is one of the best damage dealers in the game, and the more players obtain her, the harder it becomes not to compare her to every new damage dealer that's coming out, especially if they're a cryo. On top of this, the developers also need to account for the fact if a portion of a player base cares about the power level, they kind of need to work around this. Although, I'm sure the drip marketing and irresistible character design can be as part of the solution, like it has always been. Either way, these are just my speculations, but I think you'll agree it sounds somewhat reasonable. Since Hoyoverse themselves have admitted multiple times, the biggest selling point of Genshin Impact are the characters. They have perfected the art of creating hype, communities, and even sub-communities around almost every new character release, which also acts as a commodity. They come and go, sometimes without showing up for a year. So if a lot of people obtain Ayaka, surely this means there will be less interest in her every future rerun. I understand that some of you are saving up, some are skipping her, but there's also a lot of players, especially newbies, who will be pulling for her. And as I said before, this can have a long-lasting effect to the game's future. 
I mean, I for one like the fact a lot of people will have Ayaka. Her design is simple yet fun to play with, and if more people get her, especially if they don't have Ganyu or other strong DPS, the better it gets. But also, having Ayaka remain for a long time only means she becomes the new standard for evaluating future damage dealers, at least for those who care about numbers and meta. Now with all of that said, I want to talk about the next big thing about this whole 2.7 delay. So officially, all we know is that Yelan or Yellen and Cookie are coming next, and even if my YouTube feed gets spammed by unwanted leak videos, I can only talk about the stuff that we know from Hoyovers themselves. And it's not much to work with, but I can still see the same questions and comments popping up all the time. Should I pull for Ayaka now, wait for Yelan and Cookie, or keep expecting that Kazuha will show up eventually? I mean, I talked in one of my videos about Yelan and what makes me feel excited about her, the fact the fact that she's using a bow is pretty useful, but at the same time, I think that the more realistic scenario where you might care about Yalan would be the free primo gems the devs are giving out. And if it's even 3 weeks of getting 2.7 delayed, well that's almost a 10 pull if you just passively log in. And Hoyo is known to be extremely stingy with free stuff, unless something happens, like you know, the thing with the anniversary a while back. However, I think at the end of the day, if you don't care about Ayaka but want to get more pulls when Yalan banner drops, then as many have already discussed in the community, all you have to do is just wait and save up. After all, we're getting a lot of time to save up the primos. Still, when it comes to whether you should get Ayaka versus 2.7 characters, it's not something I can really talk too much about. I feel like most of you already have decided what to do, and no matter how you look at it, you're just getting more time and chances to obtain either Ayaka or keep saving up for Yalan and Cookie. So, what's the conclusion here? Well, I think that this is a very special case in Genshin's history. There's still probably millions of players actively logging in daily, and we won't forget this happened for a long time. The game's entire monetization and success depends on new characters, and by interrupting this carefully orchestrated schedule of pumping out new content every three weeks for the past year and a half, can lead to some, let's just say, interesting outcomes. Ayaka's banner getting extended until 2.7 means out of these millions of players, an abnormal amount of them will have her unlocked thanks to extra primo gems, time, or just random factor that could influence getting her, which in my opinion will result in either not getting her rerun for a long time, which is not a fact but more of an educated guess, while the other side of the medallion is that if a lot of people have her, then the meta and even the developer's response can become influenced by future decisions, like making the next crowd damage dealer stronger than her just because so many people already have her, and if design alone doesn't work as a way to pull for the new character, then perhaps power creeping could be the answer. But honestly, I'm not sure, I'm just really using today's video as a way to think about the game's future, since I really care about it and I kind of like speculating about the overall Genshin's ecosystem of characters. Which ones are popular, which ones are underrated or not used that often. I mean, don't tell me that the reason why people barely use Shinyan is solely because of her design and not the fact her kit and playstyle are confusing. And one more thing, I probably have to repeat this again, but no, I do not believe this delay will cause a huge problem for Genshin's future. I mean sure, the player base retention constantly drops, just look at some of the most recent MMOs that launched when comparing their initial 48 hour launches when they peak in numbers, and then few months later it's 60 to 90% of players abandoning the game. A lot of us, including myself, keep complaining about the endgame and how there's nothing to do in Genshin besides the Abyss, but you gotta realize that this game is literally raking in billions of dollars and releasing new content, good or bad, every couple of weeks. So there's always a chance to grab somebody's attention who hasn't logged in for a long time, and I believe it's one of the best strategies Hoyovers have come up with when it comes to retaining Genshin's play Base. So as a final note, just use this delay as a way to maybe take a break from the game, do the daily commissions and grab the free primo package every new week, and keep a lookout on when the update is going to arrive. At least as of making this video, there still hasn't been any news about a 2.7 livestream, and it's almost the first week with no news. So assuming this goes on for a few more weeks, well, you have the time in your hands to decide how to best use this contentless state of the game. By the way, totally random side note, but I recently saw the trailer for Hoyo's newest title, Zenla Zone Zero, and it looks pretty cool. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more content about Honkai Star Rail and this new game that's coming out. Thanks again to Dislight for sponsoring the video. I'm playing it right now myself, and I think you'll it as well, so I'd appreciate your support if you could check it out by using my link in the description. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you soon.